Trisha, and she's Yang Yang. <laughs> we are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. are out of service because of the etheric sea's influence we can't send or receive messages for help now we better hurry over to meet up with baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here guess you really can't recall a thing but don't worry if you got any questions we can talk as we move yang yang and i will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go rover uh can we call you that for now before you remember your true name shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great. Let's go together. I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%, no, 100% sure about you. You must be a Resonator, too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a Resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have Resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby, like what Yang Yang just did. She can tell all kinds of information by reading the streams in the wind. That's her resonance ability. While it may seem all nice and quiet here now, you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! Disperse. 
shadows. Do you still remember how to fight despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my show. Uh, I mean, Chisha. What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? You saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too but fewer compared to Huanglong. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the Sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the Magistrate of Zhenzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chisya might be in danger. Rover, please. Moment of resonance. and resolute. Thank you. 
something you need? Speeding up. This is the answer to our endeavor. Speeding up. That was close. You fought so well. I didn't even get a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over. See? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe with an... When you see a beacon... When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five-meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could he hand me your terminal for a moment? <sighs> Done. And you're almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent, but it... Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a boarded city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? This is the center of the Atheric Sea. Field? When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. True. Who could have set the bait then? Oh, I see. The one who seems simple minded in the group is actually the mastermind with schemes. <laughs> That's another popular trope. <laughs> no, wait. I'm not the mastermind. <laughs> Rover. can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. Dormant 
tacit feel right. Why did you come here by yourself? Baisha, you know we... it seems yeah she was super energetic handled a super big td way more spirited than me i've been keeping an eye on her condition through the stream baija is just concerned about your condition she must think we shouldn't be letting you move around that much, since you've just regained consciousness. pupils and a steady breathing rhythm this isn't the place for talking let's go Heating up. <laughs> Let the winds roar. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. Ha! Moment of resonance. and resolute.
weakness. Speeding up. Ugh, I'm okay. Nah, doesn't matter. Speeding up. Don't worry. Swift and resolute. Moment of resonance. before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <laughs> Oh, this is an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. No worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby Roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> We'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. ability quite like this you got any other tricks up your sleeve like eating a whole tacit discord grilling echoes alive could it be related to your lost memories can you recall anything now rover are you feeling all right any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baijun, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. 
Daiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first echo ever. Then they used the power of that echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. eons ago us resonators do live a little longer but we're still looking at about a hundred years or so and the known history of huang long stretches back at least a thousand years whether it's true or not that story happened a long time ago when jinjo didn't even exist could it be that rovers like the great 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 granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. Signal's back! This is a holographic message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors along with the diligence of our citizens that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huang Long. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises.
Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about is Rover. Wow, so this is the true measure of a chief. I mean, of our Rover. This is the true measure of a chief. It's a famous line from a good old hero play. It's been running for almost four years. It's a really heartwarming tale about the chief and their squad. Does that hero play story sound familiar to you? Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the magistrate's message, it seems Chenzhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor a magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important friend. We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Chen Zhou, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Pan Hua's restaurant. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects following the absorption of that echo, we cannot rule out the possibility of other latent risks. Given our lack of data on you and your unusual physical signs, I suggest absorbing another reverberation with your terminal when we find one. That being- I'm gonna get you one you can absorb. I never go back on my promise. Your hero, Chisha's on the hunt! Ha! Ah. No hesitation. <laughs> what you did before? Hmm. Maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Yay! It worked! I've never seen a gourd quite like yours before, but it... got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same.
be your blade. Remnants of the past. Hopefully this helps. Synchronization. and resolute. Hopefully this helps. Let me be your blade. Synchronization. Storm, hear my command! Jinjo City's just up ahead! Rover? <laughs> there you are. My dearest. Seed of fate. Alrighty, what should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the Gorges of Spirits the resurgence of that tacit field and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. Then I'll go submit our report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first. And we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinjo and all, she can't be left standing outside the City Hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then... I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. 
We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. Yes. A physical examination would be required to determine if any disease is present. If no medical issues are found, we'll conduct further monitoring and analysis to understand what happened to your body. Of course, we won't do anything without your consent. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats. Chissa, ally of justice at your service. Are you the one in need of a hero? Here we are, Jinjo's Nexus Tower. Exactly. Let me see. Uh, think of it as Jinjo's largest service station, or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one, and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Just place your terminal here. in place. Rover, you can come visit the Magistrate at any time. Shizia, do you mind bringing Rover over to the City Hall?
was expecting. Go see for yourself. Ew. First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Sure it can. Have you thought of something, Rover? You mean... I can't really keep up with your thoughts, but I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anyway, our magistrate's the best lead we have for now. No matter what she has in store for Rover. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? In that case, how about meeting with the magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the city hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. <gasps> Wait, no, we won't be able... The magistrate's expecting. Go see for yourself. Follow me. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madam Magistrate advise you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. 
She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You. You share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. Apologies, my description was not accurate. Both you and Madam Magistrate look undistorted to me. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Yes, it's the gourd on your waist. The device every resonator carries. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinzhou? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance. Here. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. It took you so long. What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So, Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Hmm. <laughs> it sure is. Shizia, the increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now our magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover. I'm afraid. Well, we've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. I mean, this is one lawn. And we're talking about Jinjo of all places. We There's been TD outbreaks every year. But we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Chizia. Do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind? 
mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? This is... a mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhengzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreak. So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the sugar pearl. Do you remember it? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo.